Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. One of the primary reasons to create and use parameters within Crystal Reports is for record selection. Imagine if you had a report which showed sales by region of your company. If you had a parameter that you could use for the region variable, you could use the same report and simply change the value in the parameter, or in this case the region, each time you ran the report to show different regional sales. To use a parameter for record selection after creating the necessary parameter field, click the Select Expert button within the Experts toolbar. In the Choose Field dialog box, you select the field against which to compare the parameter value. Then click the OK button. Then in the Select Expert dialog box, you select the desired comparison operator as normal. This time, notice that when you choose the value against which to compare the field from the drop-down that's available, there is a parameter prompt that appears at the top of the drop-down of choices in the following format. Brace, question mark, parameter name, and brace. If you have multiple parameters from which you could choose, then select the name of the parameter whose value you want to use for the record selection. After you've made the selection criteria, click the OK button. It's important to note that the parameter value and the field against which you are comparing the parameter value must share the same data type. So for example, if you had a number parameter field, you could not compare that value to a string field's value. Now, after you have entered a parameter field into your report, you can preview the report to force the report to refresh its data and enter a parameter value for use. Once you have created the preview and set the value, simply switching between the Design and Preview tabs will not necessarily prompt you to re-enter a new parameter value. You can always force a refresh of the data by choosing Report from the menu bar and then selecting the Refresh Report Data command in order to choose to use the current parameter values or prompt for new parameter values. At that point, you would just select the desired option and then click the OK button to continue. Now, when you are initially entering a parameter value, or if you choose to re-enter a parameter value when refreshing report data, you will do so through the Enter Values dialog box. In this dialog box, you will see the names of the report parameters, and you can select or enter the desired values to use for the report for each one shown. After you have initially selected parameter values, all parameters will retain their last setting, and you only need to select and change the value of the parameters that you need to in order to display the data that you want to see within the preview. Then when you're finished, click the OK button to see the new data. Now the value or values which you then specify are used by the parameter to select records, display the chosen value, format fields, or whatever else you may be using parameter values for within a report. After you've entered the values to use, you simply click the OK button to apply the new parameters to the report. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.